quite often a sign of bad weather is a halo around the sun or the moon, which shows you where the high cloud is and you can see there's a very distinct halo up there. Yeah, it's hard to say uh, when you see a sign like that as to how quickly uh, bad weather's coming. It depends on how strong a depression is, but it could be six hours, it could be twelve hours. Despite the threat of bad weather, the team climbed up to the glacial lake they had travelled all this way to see. The route passed beneath the vast moraines of the now vanished glacier. It looks like it's been here all the time, doesn't I know, it? I know. I mean, look, those walls there. I mean, it just looks as if the whole thing's, you know, was full of ice. It's all melted back, and there's been a pond there since time immemorial. But we know from this map, 53 to 65, that there was no lake. There it is. But there was a glacier. Yeah. And the glacier has melted away and those ponds have merged into one very large lake, three kilometres long, and that's an example of a very, very large glacial lake. The lake was identified in 1975 by Japanese researchers. It now contains 30 million tonnes of water. Its rapid growth is directly linked to a rise in air temperature, and it's getting bigger, growing at a rate of 5% each year. Island Peak's glacial lake has been identified by the United Nations as one of 20 in Nepal that are critically dangerous. These lakes are likely to flood in the near future. There are 20 similar time bombs in Nepal's neighbour, Bhutan. OK, the interesting and really quite critical question regarding this lake at Island Peak is whether it's going to drain catastrophically or slowly. There's good reason to suspect that it might drain catastrophically because within the moraine it's ice cored. As that ice melts out, it can breach the moraine, and then once the waters start to flood through that gap, they'll rapidly enlarge the gap, and the 30 million tonnes of water that's been estimated in this lake could drain in a matter of half a day. And it's not just the waters that will cause the damage. Water moving at this velocity can carry very large fragments, for example, ice blocks and boulders the size of cars. <laughs> No one doubts the coming flood will spell disaster for the entire Kumbu region. The villages the team trek through are downstream of Island Peak's glacial lake. Some of them will be destroyed. Some of the people the team encountered will be killed. <laughs> <laughs> 